What's going on everyone, it's Andrew back again with another video and in today's video we're going to be talking about stage 2 of Rainbow Six Siege for the 2021 season. So as you can on your screen right here we had the global standings points, obviously we just had the 6 invitational so there was no 6-1 major as you can see on your screen we just had you know the regular leagues and then whoever qualified went to it. But now we're back on the normal format so we'll have the August major and we'll have the November major kind of like how it used to be in 2020. So for the 2021 season these are the global standings points and yes uh purity had points because of stage one so if you guys didn't watch stage one these are the points for all the regions top the top four from every region was um uh oxygen navi uh team liquid and elevate they were the top four of their regions and that's why they have the most points at 510 so pretty much the same thing kind of here but this time your placement will matter for the major so you're going to earn points through your league and then the major that's how it's going to work so i'm going to be predicting all the leagues and see what we can get to and then maybe we'll do a major one if you guys want that in the future. But if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. You see this on the screen right now? We, we gotta get this up, bro. Don't want to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button if you want all the Siege content. And let's just get right into the video. All right, so let's start off with the North American League. As you see on your screen right here, we have the placing. So if you get top four, you're going to that major with 225 points. If you get five through eighth, you don't go to the major, but you do get some points and you get some money. So it's not as terrible, but you obviously want to go to that major. That's where you get the most points at. And, you know, honestly... In stage one, we had a pretty interesting result. Oh, she got first. That was very surprising to hear. Here we go. Let's go to stage one real quick. So th these were the things for stage one. So oh, she got first. Sonic got second. Mirage then disrupt. So very interesting from last year, which was just the top four teams, which was Oxygen, TSM, Dark Zero, and Space Station. So going into the second major um, or second stage, I mean, we had some roster changes. We had a lot of roster changes right here. DZ's got a new player in. Um, in bc who was previously the coach now mint's going to be the coach for that team and then skies was dropped because he's retired um disrupt also got a, a new young blood talent i guess in dp fire we're going to see how he does mirage or hot and cold goes from mirage to space station pretty interesting um dark zero does pick up a new player from challenger league as well Exet pick up razor from challenger league jarvis goes from challenger league to coach for Exet. so a lot of interesting roster changes obviously right here um, Beast Coast, you know, picks up Biologic, they drop uh, Ghost, so a lot of roster changes right here, um, as you see. I think we're still going to have the same result, though. I don't know if OXG is going to get first, but I think the major teams, I think we're going to have OXG go to the major with Sonics, um, and then, I don't know, I could see I could see Space Station, so I'm going to go with those three teams, Oxygen first, Sonic second, Space Station third, and the fourth team, I'm going to say either Dark Zero or Disrupt for my fourth team. Right now, I don't think the other four teams really got a chance, to be honest. I think Mirage definitely got a chance, um, and TSM definitely got a chance to compete, but I don't know if they're going to go to the major. So I'm, I'm going to choose Oxygen, Space Station, Sonics, and then Dark Zero or Disrupt to go to the major. So those will be my predictions. If you guys want to know all the matches, here they are on your screen right here. So it starts June 15th, and it goes to July 28th for all the matches. Um, these will be streamed live on the Rainbow Six Twitch channel at, at the respective times. So go so you know go follow that if you want to see all the nal matches but let's go to the next region so going on to the next region we have europe and i just want to look at the stage one for europe real quick so navi finished first last stage with bds and then Croana gaming and then rogue i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that right but i think it's Croana. but yeah so they were the top four from their region which would have gone to the major if si was at a normal time but going into the stage two we're gonna be seeing a lot of different stuff from the region there hasn't been that many roster changes but I really think, obviously, with Empire showing a lot, they're a really good team on LAN. I don't know. I, I could really see... I think Navi and B BDS definitely going to the Major. Definitely going to the Major. Then I could see Empire, maybe Virtus Pro going to the Major as well. I don't know. I'm, I think Navi, BDS, and then one Russian team between Empire and Virtus, and then Kruana or Rogue, I can see, to be honest. I don't think Train Hard's going to do that well. Even picking a Boy, I don't think they're going to do that good. That Vitality, I don't think it has a shot. G2, once again, I don't think it has a shot. And even with Secrets new pickups, as you can see right here, they, you know, they picked up some players, dropped some players. I don't think they got a chance, to be honest. Um, so those are my predictions for Europe. So let's go to APAC real quick. We're going to talk about APAC, and then we're going to talk about Latam. But this was Stage 1 of APAC North. Cloud9 was 7-0, so uh, they're going to the Major for Stage 2, to be honest with you. Um, so how it works is the first team goes to Major, and the other three go Playoffs. So... I'm not going to predict the playoffs because I have no idea who's going to go to that. But I think Cloud9 is definitely going to the major. For the playoffs, I could see Cyclops and, and Fnatic. And I I, I don't know. I'm, I might see Guts or Fav going. Or maybe Dawan. 
I don't think T1 will. They haven't got a win since stage one. They were winless so far at 0-7, but these are the first matches for APAC North, so... You know, these will be pretty interesting matches, but I think Cloud9 definitely goes to the major. Let's go into let's go into Apex South. We went to Apex South last season. It was Elevate going six and one, kind of dominating everyone. I think we will see a similar thing in stage two. We haven't seen that many roster changes through um through this, but I mean they did drop with some players, so you never know. But I think Elevate is still gonna get that number one seed. I think Chiefs, um, Knights, and then the X Giants squad will be getting the other three spots in my opinion. And obviously here are the matches for the first week. But I think those teams are going to be the ones that are be popping off in the region. And then if you go to the playoffs here, you know, this is how it works. You have three North teams, three South teams, and then the South Asia Nationals. I mean, these teams are the obviously favorites because they were stage one. But I don't know how they're going to do, but let's just go on Aladdin. So with Brazil, they have a different format. They keep the stage one records and go into stage two. So I think it's going to be all these six teams, to be honest. Uh, Black Dragons did make a couple changes, I think. And who they're bringing so unit got dropped and then this guy Piers got picked up i don't know who he is so he got picked up hugsorb was inactive on the, on the bench so i don't know what's gonna happen with them but i think it's gonna be the same six teams in the copa lead six and then copa lead six is the four teams go and then you have the mexican teams um and then we have the south american teams honestly i think all four brazil teams are gonna get the spots i mean that's just obvious they're the best region right now but that's how I think the Major's going to round. If you wanted to go to the Major, it's supposed to be in North America. I don't really know um, where or if it's still going to be in North America. But that's what it's supposed to be right now. $500,000 is on the line. We have 16 teams going here. As I say, we've got a group stage and then single elimination tournament. And then these are how the points play. So you get 50 for going. Then, you know, if you get the next one, you get 105, then 165, then 230, 300, and then 375 if you win the event. So... Pretty interesting right here. We're going to have to see how it all plays out, but I mean, I'm excited to see. I don't know if the May Major, yeah, May Major was supposed to be in Europe, I guess. Um, and these would have been the teams going to it. So as you see on your screen, these would have been the teams for stage one going into it if six invitation was a normal time. So it would actually have been a pretty interesting match, honestly, because we would have seen, you know, the pretty much good LAT, uh, LATM teams here. Um, and then Elevate would have gone. That would be cool to see some APAC teams. We obviously haven't seen a lot of APAC teams. That's what I like about this. Every team gets a fair representation of 25%, so it's kind of nice to see that. But I don't know. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And then we only have a week from these uh, starting. So North America starts in a week. Um, Europe starts almost in a week. APAC weeks. And then LATAM takes a little bit after that. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everyone.